folks. Thanks for joining me today. So in today's tutorial, if you didn't see the thumbnail, we are going to be painting a treble clef. So um, I was at a craft show recently and I was near the music department and I got to stare at all of these beautiful um, music notes and the treble clefs and they were all done in sparkly uh, paper and they're just so pretty so I wanted to try one out myself. So I'm using one of the molds from the Happy Dot and Company. This is the smallest mold that uh, Angela offers and um, I just I um, made a few of these and then once they were completely dry I painted them all black um, and then I drew on with my General's charcoal pencil uh, the treble clef and you would have seen at the beginning there that I use a compass as well to draw two circles because um, I want to paint a frame on this as well so I'm uh, just outlining that frame in gold right now. I think it is um, uh, glorious gold. I will list all of the colors in the description below if you're interested in using the same colors that I use. However, your uh, imagination is only your limitation. So you, you don't have to use what I'm using. You can use whatever you want. You can make it a different color. You don't have to do a frame around it. You don't even have to do um, anything in gold, but I like the gold. I like the bling bling and I like the shimmer and shine of metallic paints. So, uh, and glitter, of course, I like my glitter. So this is just my take on it and my creativity that came out when I, when I painted this. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do the same. But uh, I really like this and I'm going to do more of these um, maybe in the other music notes because honestly, lately I've been uh, blasting some of my old favorites from when I was growing up as a kid and it has brought back so many memories and I've had so much fun just blasting it as loud as I can take it and singing at the top of my lungs like no one else is around and it's been great. So I thought let's celebrate the music that gives our soul that soul if you know what I mean. So uh, what better way to uh, do that than to paint a treble clef. So I'm uh, outlining everything in gold and don't worry about all of the extra marks and stuff like that. Um, they do wash off quite easily uh, by using a um, damp cloth or uh, maybe a wettened Q-tip. Um, but it all, it works really well to, to take off any pieces of the white chalk marks that are still on the, on the stone. And I like using it as well because it doesn't indent into the paint. So I find sometimes pencil does, um, and it just doesn't look the greatest. So now I am just touching it all up and you can see now in my treble clef, all of those white marks are gone because I used a wet Q-tip to um, get rid of all of the unwanted marks that uh, were still visible. Um, I also go in between uh, the treble clef just to clean up some of my uh, uh, gold lines that are a little bit thicker than where I want them and I'm doing the same thing right now uh, around the frame. I'm making those gold lines a little bit thinner uh, so that I can um, really decorate up my frame. So um, I also use in this tutorial my metallic watercolors and I just I haven't used them in a while and I saw them sitting on my desk and I thought this might be a good one to do and it probably would have been even better if I used a different color as the background. You'll see what I mean when I get to that point. But right now I'm just doing some cleanup uh, around the, um, the gold lines where maybe there was too much paint on my paintbrush and I just got to thin it out or maybe I went off the line and where I started or stopped 
it has a little bit of a swipe or something like that. So I'm just cleaning that all up uh, and making it look absolutely perfect and beautiful and all of that good stuff. So um, I'm just, uh, I really, really enjoyed doing this. It took me uh, about an hour in real time. However, I was able to shrink this video down to I think it was like 18 minutes or something like that. So if you stick around and you watch the whole thing, thank you so, so much for supporting me and, and watching the whole video. Um, it's uh, a lot of fun to be able to sit down and just paint for no reason. Um, lately, I've been so busy with doing custom orders and being prepared for my craft shows but that is all done. So now I was able to finally sit down and paint something that wasn't for anything in particular. It was just for my enjoyment. And I'm so happy that I got to do that. And I thought, why not start off with this? And I know I've been promising that I was going to get back on schedule and, you know, life gets in the way and I'm making it a New Year's resolution that that's what's going to happen. I'm going to uh, really, really focus on making sure that I have new content for you every week. And I know I keep saying this, but Christmas is coming so fast and I'm just running out of time to be able to sit down and uh, record the video and then to get it sent out to everybody and uh, have it edited and ready to go all of that good stuff. So I do thank you for being patient with me and understanding that um, this is a bit of a process, but I so enjoy when I finally get something finished and I can post it for you guys um, because I just, I love that you watch my videos and you look forward to anything new coming up on my channel. I also have a lot of things that I've been doing on my Facebook page, I've been a little bit more active there than I have been uh, here on YouTube. Um, so we just had a contest um, and it was just basically to spread some good cheer. And uh, I offered up um, a $40 surprise pack. And one lucky winner um, was uh, the recipient of it. I don't know if she has received it yet or not, but um, with the mail, the way that it is going right now, because of all of the packages that are rushing all over the world, um, I'm really hoping that uh, she gets it before Christmas. But I loaded it up with a lot of my um, unseen uh, tutorials and things like that. So I really hope that she enjoys it. So I thank everybody who participated, who was over on my Facebook page. And uh, like I said, um, head on over there. I have a lot more postings there than I have been able to do on um, YouTube. So if you haven't already been over there, just click the uh, clink. Just click the link <laughs> in the description below and uh, it'll take you straight to my Facebook page and um, it'll ask if you want to be a member and there is a question that's involved but it's rather simple so just answer the question and um, then you'll be able to see all of the content and stuff that I have over there. So as I've been yapping ab away about my Facebook page um, I've been putting on some watercolor. Now this is a bronze color it's metallic um, I've used these metallic colors before, um, but I'm wishing now that I had of used maybe a brighter color um, because this just sort of, it gets lost in the background. And I know it is the background, but I just wish I had something that was a little bit more of a brighter color. So this was a trial and error on my part. Um, and I still made it work. It still looks really beautiful. Don't get me wrong, like the the color uh, just didn't seem to work um, with my finishing touches on the treble clef. However, if I left it like this, so beautiful. Absolutely. And maybe that's something I should have done was just left it alone and left it like this. But I sometimes go a little bit overboard and I've got to do more. So 
I'm now putting on a white pearl uh, um, watercolor. It's also part of the metallics that I used. And now I'm just going in with a very fine, very fine, I'm having trouble talking today, um, a very fine uh, lining brush. And I made this myself. I do have a tutorial on how to do this. It is also listed in the description below. Um, and I'm just putting a very, very thin black line onto the stone that separates the background and my frame. So I do this all the way around because I really want that frame to stand out from the actual background itself of the treble clef. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, it does take a little bit of patience and a little bit of practice, but you know what? Um, you just keep working at it and next thing you know you're you're whipping these off like nothing so um, it took me a little while to learn how to be sort of a you almost have to have a very light touch in order to get uh, this very fine line and make sure that your brush is cleaned quite often because the paint flows a lot better and make sure your paint um, is also uh, fresh out of the bottle because I find that if you've left something in your paint tray even for um, like 10 minutes and it's already starting to dry so it thickens up so just add a little bit of water and you're good to go so I'm doing the other side of that gold line as well in the black uh, fine line just again to separate uh, the two uh, colors and to really make it pop and make it stand out so uh, another technique that I'm going to be using in this tutorial today is I'm going to be using a nail gel top coat and a UV light and we're going to put some uh, powder on it, uh, some nail powder. And I think that if I didn't do that because there was too much bling bling or too much uh, glitter that it kind of counteracted or... Um, what's the word like they kind of washed into each other um, and if you saw the thumbnail at the beginning you'd understand what I'm talking about but um, it's it's my oops and it's your uh, lesson learned <laughs> so I do the mistake you learn from it and you don't do it um, however sometimes these little mistakes work out uh, a lot of the times they have for me and it's just been exciting this one was just something new to try again i i'm okay to um, get out there and adventure with my paints and the colors and all that good stuff and i totally urge you to do the same thing um, it's so much fun to uh, see those things kind of transpire as you go along and um, like I said, this one for me did not work out the way that I wanted it to, but it still turned out really pretty. So there's the top coat that I'm going to be using. It will be listed in the description below. Um, I got it off of Amazon and I just put some blobs on there and I use a paintbrush to spread it around. And it's really neat because it does not dry until it goes underneath the UV lamp. If you don't have a UV lamp and you don't have this um, uh, nail top coat, that's okay. You don't have to use it. Uh, instead, use glitter paint uh, or you can use metallic paints or paint it a solid color or don't paint it at all. Totally up to you. Um, I'm just doing what I wanted to, to see on this stone and uh, try it out and uh, bring it to you um, as something that you may want to try maybe not now maybe later if you want to try it later save the video and come back to it later and watch it again and um, maybe for Christmas you'll get some gel top coats and some chrome powders or some metallic powders or something fun like that to uh, put into your inventory of paints and things like that so uh, but again it's just me playing around um, not for any particular reason, just wanted to try it out and see how it looked. And uh, I'm, 
overall, I'm happy with it. Um, it is something very cute and music means so much to me. It's such a motivator and um, it just certain music just gets you right back into that happy mode that you so deserve to be in, especially in a time like this when uh, Christmas is so busy and hectic and running around and dealing with weather like where I'm up in uh, northern Ontario and we're going to have a green Christmas and this is like unheard of but that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> so you, you'll see that uh, I am putting the UV light over top and my UV light goes for 45 seconds so I do it twice um, and that gives me a minute and a half. And then I just use one of these makeup applicators and I rub on this uh, blue powder that I have uh, that shifts colors uh, to a green. And I'll be honest, I didn't realize that it shifted until after I had applied it. And I think the green is what does not work well with uh, the background color. However, it is what it is and it's still really pretty and I think it's, I'm just very happy with it. Now I'm going to paint my frame that I wanted to do around this. So I'm just doing a cross first. So one on the top, one on the bottom, one to the right, one to the left. And then I go in between those and I'm making uh, almost like uh, the little ticks on a clock. But I just keep going until I get little small squares. And in those small squares, I'm going to put little black dots. Now, you, you could put in little gems. You could put uh, maybe a different color dot. Um, but as I'm turning this, l watch the uh, treble clef on how it changes color. You can really see the blue and the green as it shifts as I turn it. So um, this gives you a good look at how the green kind of doesn't work with the background, but the blue does. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. And I also wanted to remind you that if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so that you get a notification every time I post something new. And don't forget to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Um, if it's something you're going to try, if it's something that um, maybe you don't have the tools and you're going to try it somewhere, some other way, just let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and make sure you check out the description below before you leave so that you see all of the really cool links that I have and the colors that I chose and all of that good stuff. I will let this dry overnight before I give it a coat or two of resin and then it's finished. So there you have it folks, life is what you make it so get creative. Mm -hmm.